San Francisco. It's the Cube covering Sumo Logic Illuminate 2018. Now here's Jeff Frick. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Jeff Frick here with the Cube. We're at Sumo Logic Illuminate. It's at the Hyatt SFO in Burlingame. Uh, we're excited to be here. There's a lot of activity going on. About 600 people. I think it's the second year of the conference. And like I said, we like to talk to customers. So we're excited to have one of their customers on. He's actually, I think, on their advisory board. So this is an important customer. He's John Ducalil, the VP of Engineering for Huddle, H-U-D-L. John, yeah. great to see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Yes. Yeah, so as we talk before we turn the cameras on, I am a huge Huddle fan. I've used it. I was the admin for my high school for my kids high school so what a terrific application thank you yeah so let's get into it so why are you here you got a little talk going on tomorrow tell us about what you're going to be talking about yep uh, I'm going to talk about how our customer support team uh, uses sumo and uses logs to to help our customers right basically so for the people that aren't familiar with huddle your customers are basically coaches High yep. school coaches, college coaches, yep. uh, parent coaches. Yes, so not often. always necessarily the most technically sophisticated That's right. group out there. Yep. At the same time, they work their tails off and time is tremendous pressure when, when you're a coach because you can always look at more film. <laughs> yeah. It's a dirty little secret. So your customer service challenges are pretty real and pretty significant. And you have, how many customers do you guys have now? Um, we have got, it's, I think, over 160,000 active teams. 160,000 active teams. Yep. Uh, uh, worldwide at this point. And most of them probably don't have an IT department. Uh, <laughs> that is correct. Right. Yeah, yeah, we have, you know, the, the system itself, there's all kinds of complexity in what we do, but uh, we have this saying that it's, it's actually on the walls of our headquarters of just give me my damn video. Um, <laughs> right. Because, yeah, they don't have IT. A lot of them, you know, they're not excited about technology the way I am. Um, they want to be a better coach. They want to win more. They want to be better at, right. at what they do. Right. And we are just a means to an end. Right. So what's kind of the scale in terms of your customer service operations and, and the amount of agents you have and kind of your call volume? I don't know if you have any of that at the top of your head, but it's, it's got to be pretty significant, especially on, I don't know, what's bigger, Friday night or Saturday morning? Uh, <laughs> yeah, Saturday morning for us. Because that's when uh, Friday night, or everybody's at the games, right? Yeah. They're, they're yep. at the games. Exactly. Saturday, they're getting together and you know, talking about how it went, what can they learn, and it's Saturday, so they're starting to think about next week already. Right. Yep. So how has Sumo Logic helped you guys deliver better customer experience? Yeah, it's helped us uh, in a number of ways. So um, one of the ways that it's helped us and our customers is um, in Huddle, it, there's a lot of shared content. You know, most teams, even the really small teams, there's a staff, or at least a a group of people who are all working with the same video, the same reports and analytics. Right. And um, sometimes that means they kind of step on each other's toes. Maybe one coach will delete somebody else's presentation. That's a huge deal. That's a big problem for you know whoever stuff just disappeared. So it helps us spot, okay, here's what happened. Um, nope, we didn't just lose your data. We can actually restore it and we can help you understand, hey, go talk to that coach sitting next to you, because um, he just accidentally deleted something. Right, right. Um, and then it's also how we do what we call proactive support, where we're scanning through logs continually, looking for what is going wrong. And there's a huge list of things that, that we know the fix. We just have to get this information out to that coach. So some of them are fully automated, where it'll email. Some of them maybe will reach out and actually call coaches and say, hey, we saw you had this issue, we want to help. Right. Um, versus so what kind of you know, issues, what kind of issues are like that, that are like known, repeatable, but they're, but they're kind of user generated versus system generated? Yeah, so um, one example, it, it seems really simple, it is very simple, but you know, different versions of our mobile apps. Maybe the version they're on, it works fine for everything except that new thing they just tried to do, and they just need to upgrade. Right, right. But they don't have automatic updates turned on or whatever the situation. Um, you know, that one's fully automatable. We can just email them and say, hey coach, we saw you were trying to do this. If you just update your app, you'll, you'll have a better experience. Right, right. 
It amazes me how many people don't have automatic updating on sure. their applications in, in general. I, it, mm -hmm. it, it never fails to amaze me, actually. It's like, don't you know, we're 20, there's a reason they're updating your app. Most of the time, oftentimes, it's security. Maybe you yeah. should go ahead and turn on your automatic uh, updates. Yep. And how did you get to, how did you get to Sumo Logic? What, what brought you to, uh, to these guys in the first place? Um, yeah, so we were on uh, a competing system before that was sort of like, um, you know, run it yourself, sort of on-prem. And as our business grew, the complexity of keeping that running and keeping it quick uh, also grew. And we, we didn't want to make the investment to you know, have a whole team just to keep this thing running. We wanted to offload that. Um, and yeah, so at the time we started looking at, at competitors and, and Sumo was a great choice. Right. So before I let you go, kind of what are some of your priorities going forward? I can't believe we're almost to the end of, of 2018, but as you guys continue to develop, continue to grow, from your position, what are some of the things you're looking at that you would like to, uh, to tackle next? Um, yeah, so, so one of the things that Huddle cares a lot about, and we've innovated a bunch over the years, is just making it easier and easier for coaches to get video into Huddle. Um, you know, when smartphones and tablets came out, that was a big step forward. And um, we think one of the, part of the future is going to be cameras that nobody has to set up on a tripod. It's just fixed in a stadium or in a gym right. or in a stadium. It knows the team's schedule. It knows, okay, at six o'clock, girls volleyball is playing. And then the next day, uh, boys basketball is playing. And so video just, automatically appears in the right account, um, yeah, immediately. Wow, so are you doing stuff with like 4K or then you're cropping it down to 1080s where you can use yep. kind of that stationary camera model? Yeah, that's also a big thing, that video um, quality keeps improving and that has really big technical implications. You know, big with, files. Yeah, <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> big files. But it's interesting, I saw the guy filming a, a sporting event and, he, and it was a basketball game and he wasn't moving the camera. Uh, uh huh. Just pretty much stationary at, at, at the midpoint. And I'm like, what are you doing? You're not moving the camera. When I film, I'm like back and forth sure. and zooming in, zooming out. And he goes, I do it all in post because I shoot in 4K, I publish in 1080, I can crop it and zoom to whatever I need in post. Yep. So it's very different yeah. know, kind of strategy, which is something you guys we can wanna, support. We want to automatically do that um, using machine learning and artificial intelligence to, there's no reason we can't see where's the action. And let's, let's focus on that. Right. Well, John, great uh, story. As you know, I, I love the company. I'm, I'm effusive for the company. I've, That's great. I've, I've spent so many hours in that application, <laughs> second only maybe to email or Outlook, I think, of all the applications I spent time. So awesome. thanks for taking a few minutes and yeah, uh, enjoy, you. enjoy your guys' work. Do good work. Great. Thanks. All right. He's John. I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at Sumo Logic Illuminate. Thanks for watching.